So today is lecture two, and before we begin, let me tell you something、uh, a little bit more logistics. First of all, let's open、uh, the Stellar website. So this is the website.、Uh, I'll be posting all the materials, and you're gonna see project one is already posted, and、uh, you should start working on it. I'll go over project one pretty soon. There is also collaboration policy, general information about the class, and、uh, a tentative schedule. Right now, posted on Stellar, and you can look at the schedule and plan ahead a little bit.、Uh, lecture one, the MATLAB code is posted as a zip file. The video recording is a link to YouTube, and there are two old slides and reading. So that's the old slides are before I changed the lecture style from basically giving presentations on the screen to actually writing down formulas、uh, on my tablet. The reason I switched was because it is a lot. I found it is a lot easier to follow when I write things down slowly on the on the screen. It's just like writing down on the blackboard. Well, if I just present you the formulas pre-written, it's a lot easier for me to go too fast. So that's why I switched to handwriting. But of course, my handwriting is far worse than the typed down、uh, latex. So that's why I also posted the old slides for you to look at and study、um, by yourself. And also the reading is the same thing. It's a it's a form. It's basically the same as the old slides, but formatted differently, more like、uh, a PDF document. And also this, the last PDF slides is actually my worst handwriting lecture notes、uh, that I actually recorded during the lecture. So these are the stuff I will be posting every lecture. And today the only thing different is I I also posted a, a project, which. Let me open this up. So, so the project is、uh, handed out today, and it is due September twenty sixth. So it's exactly two weeks from now. So you get two weeks to work on this project. As I said, the project is very different from a typical undergraduate assignment. In that, like maybe the first question, you see like a series of questions. Like one, two, three, and the two bonus questions. So only the first one has a right answer. Only the first question is going to have a right answer. So the、uh, this is basically modeling a bathtub with hot water in it. And the question is, how should the person be controlling the temperature in the bathtub while wasting as little water as possible? And you be You'll be writing a code for solving the PDE, which is given here. It's a little bit more than a standard advection diffusion equation with the with the right hand side that is、uh, h over d times t times t c, and、uh, with also pretty standard boundary conditions. We'll talk about boundary conditions later. So this one is a Robin boundary condition, and this the other end is a Newman boundary condition. So the questions involves having you derive analytical solution to the PDE under special conditions, and the analytical solution is going to be used when you write a code for solving the PDE numerically, which is going to be working not only for the special case of u equal to constant, but for general cases. That's the advantage of numerical method is. It works for cases where analytical solution doesn't exist, or maybe it's too difficult. But the reason we still want analytical solution is that we can compare our numerical solution to the analytical solution for two reasons. One is to make sure the code we write is actually working correctly; it's not giving completely wrong answers. Two is. It allows us to assess the accuracy of our solution. So today we are actually going to be talking about how accurate our solution is when we are using finite difference, finite volume, finite element. 
We are not solving the equation exactly. We are approximating the equation. How much approximation error is made? Is a case by case. Uh, it, the answer depends case case by case. So here you're going to use analytical solution to figure out how accurate your solution is, and particularly you need to decide by yourself. There is no right answer on how fine your grid has to be in order to make the decisions you have to make in question three, which is extend your solver to general case and use your solver to figure out a strategy. Also, there is no right strategy, but you figure out a strategy that like, you can make it as good as possible to have the temperature as constant as possible while wasting as little water as possible. Okay, so these three questions, if you do all these three perfectly, you get full score, but I have two bonus questions. You can get more than full score, so that like at the end of the, uh, the class, if you happen to not get full score on some other uh, projects, these may be able to make up a little bit. So the bonus questions are two parameters in the PD is uncertain. How can you design an experiment to figure out what these parameters really are? And also quantify how your best strategy depends on various parameters in the, uh, in the PDE. All right, you can see all these are very open-ended questions. There is no single right answer. It's almost asking you to write a paper. Right. So this is the type of uh, projects we are going to be doing throughout the semester. And uh, any questions about this particular one? Yes? How uh, should we provide the answer? Can we provide the answer if we have to do calculations in handwriting or if everything has to be done in the computer? That's a good question. So the question is, are you supposed to uh, write down your solution in handwriting or it has to be typed on the computer? So the answer to the question is either way is fine. But the submission is going to be in electronic form which means if you choose to handwrite your solution, you need to find a scanner and scan them and upload your PDF file. Or you can just use your cell phone. Uh, there are pretty good apps to use your cell phone for scanners. All right, so, so the end of, uh, at the end of this project, you'll be submitting two things. One is a PDF file that contains basically the entire report and don't include any of your don't include like your code in the PDF file. We won't be looking at them. The, the PDF file is intended to serve pretty much like an academic paper. And the other is a zip file containing all your code. And make sure it has all the files that like if somebody, if our TA uh, looks at your report and sees something we won't be running everybody's code, but if we see your report and something makes us want to run your code, make sure we can run your code. All right. Any other questions? Yes? That's a very good question. Uh, I'll answer this question right after finish, I finish discussing this particular project, which language we should use. Any other question about this particular project? Yes? Do you need to upload a separate code for each uh, question or just one for each file? Uh, you need to, that's a very good question. So, so we ask you to upload a single zip file. So they should contain all the code. And uh, uh, I would suggest making a separate directory for each individual question. That'll make it a lot easier for us to um, look at your code. Yeah. Uh, 